Remember that epic Dune cliffhanger that left you gasping for air? Mean Girls Burn Book still etched in your psyche? Buckle up, nostalgia junkies, because Hollywood's rummaging in the attic and dusting off your exes. But before you bust out the pink sweatpants and resurrect your inner Ghostbuster, buckle up for a reality check. Is this a heartwarming homecoming or a desperate attempt to milk a cash cow dry? The year of the sequel. Yep, 2024 is shaping up to be a nostalgia fueled fiesta, with some of our favorite franchises dusting off their capes and resurrecting old catchphrases. Now, don't get me wrong, a good sequel can be like slipping into a perfectly worn in t shirt, comforting, familiar, and ready to spark a million inside jokes. But is Hollywood relying a little too heavily on past glories instead of forging new paths? Let's grab our popcorn and dissect the upcoming cinematic sequels that have us both fist pumping and eyebrow raising. Dune Part 2 First up, the spice must flow again. Denis Villeneuve's epic adaptation of Dune was a visual feast, but it left us hanging on a sandblasted cliff edge. Timothy Chalamet's brooding Paul Atreides is back, navigating treacherous alliances and battling sandworms the size of skyscrapers. Can Part 2 capture the same magic while venturing into uncharted territory? Will Zendaya's Chani steal the show with her fierce desert warrior vibes? Only time and a whole lot of CGI will tell. But hey, who wouldn't want to lose themselves in those otherworldly landscapes again? Part 2 promises to continue the saga, but can it maintain the delicate balance between honoring its predecessor and carving out a distinct narrative? The allure of Dune lies not only in its stunning visuals, but also in its complex characters and intricate political intrigue. As we anticipate the next installment, there's a palpable excitement tinged with the fear of disappointment. Will it be a seamless continuation or a stumble in the desert sands of storytelling? Mean Girls, but make it 2024. Speaking of epic battles, remember the Burn Book Wars and Regina George's Reign of Terror in Mean Girls? Well, fetch your pink sweatpants because the plastics are back. Well, not the originals, but a whole new generation. This time, the social currency isn't just popularity points, it's likes and follower counts. Buckle up for a fresh take on teen clicks and internet drama, served with a side of hopefully some sharp-witted satire. Will it capture the iconic spirit of the original, or will it be a case of trying to wear someone else's tiara? You know what they say, in the jungle of high school, only the fittest memes survive. Mean Girls, on the other hand, is undergoing a generational shift. The plastics are back, navigating the treacherous terrain of high school, but with a digital twist. Social media likes and follow accounts now wield power, mirroring the evolving landscape of teenage drama. It's a bold move to adapt a cult classic for a new era, but will this modern makeover capture the essence of the original's biting satire? As we brace ourselves for this digital high school drama, the question lingers, can lightning strike twice? Kung Fu Panda, Paws of Destiny. Now, let's move away from the claws and clicks to some serious Kung Fu fury. Poe, the lovable dumpling loving panda, is back for another round of butt kicking and spiritual enlightenment. This time he's facing a cosmic threat that could unravel the very fabric of reality. Sounds intense, right? But fear not, Poe's signature blend of clumsy charm and wise cracking wisdom is sure to bring the laughs alongside the epic fight scenes. Plus, who wouldn't want to see Master Shifu unleash his inner badass once again? This sequel might just be the perfect blend of nostalgia and fresh storytelling, like a perfectly seasoned pot of noodles waiting to be devoured. The juxtaposition of light-hearted humor and a looming existential crisis raises eyebrows. Can the film balance these seemingly disparate elements? Poe's charm is undeniable, but will it be enough to weave a compelling tale that resonates with both children and adults alike? Ghostbusters, Afterlife's next chapter. Remember the proton packs and Slimer's gooey charm? Well, strap on your proton packs because the Ghostbusters are back in business. Afterlife's heartwarming return proved that the franchise still has plenty of spooktacular life left in it. Now, the torch is being passed to a new generation of ghost hunters, ready to face whatever spectral nasties come knocking. Will they measure up to the legacy of Venkman, Spengler, Stance and Zedmore? Will Winston finally get the recognition he deserves? And most importantly, Will we finally see a Stay Puft Marshmallow Man make a comeback? Only the Stay Puft knows for sure, but one thing's certain, this sequel has the potential to be a hauntingly good time. Ghostbusters, Afterlife's next chapter embarks on a journey to pass the torch to a new generation of Ghostbusters. It's a nod to the past while paving the way for the future. The challenge here is twofold. 
honoring the legacy of the original Ghostbusters and crafting a narrative that feels fresh and relevant. The dynamics between the seasoned Ghostbusters and the new recruits offer potential for humor and heart, but will it be a seamless transition or a forced handover? Beyond the big names, but of course, the story doesn't end with these four cinematic giants. Scream 6 is bringing back Ghostface for another round of bloody whodunits. And who can forget the return of everyone's favorite space cowboy in Toy Story 5? Each sequel brings with it a chance to reignite old flames or burn them to ashes. The verdict, nostalgia or innovation? So the question remains, is 2024 the year of the stale sequel or the year of reinvigorated classics? The truth is, it's probably a bit of both. Some sequels will fall flat simply rehashing old jokes and relying on tired tropes. But others have the potential to surprise us, breathing new life into beloved franchises while pushing the boundaries of storytelling. Ultimately, it's up to us, the audience, to decide whether we embrace the familiar or crave something fresh.